Hey, what's going on? The printer guy here. And today I'm going to show you how to reset the waste ink counter on your Epson EcoTank printer. If you have these red lights that are flashing, you have a maintenance error code on your screen, or you're simply replacing your maintenance box, I'm going to show you how to reset your waste ink counter because that's what you have to do to reset the page count on your Epson EcoTank printer. You're going to go to inkchip.net. There's a link for it down in the description below, and you're going to download the free software. Uh, this file that pops up, you're then going to save to your computer, and you're going to actually use this to download the software. Once you save this file, you're going to have an application that shows up on your desktop. Now you do need to be using Windows. This does not work with the Mac operating system. Now once you click this application, then you're going to be able to actually download the software. You're going to click yes, OK, and then it's going to start downloading to the point where you're going to have these additional applications. You're going to use the language that you need. You can delete the rest. For me, it's English, so I'm selecting English. You're going to click waste ink counters, and you also have the option for deep cleaning on this application. You're going to select the printer that you have connected via USB. You have to have your printer connected via USB. If not, this will not work. Now, these are the numbers that need to be reset, and in order to reset these numbers, we're going to go back to inkchip.net. We're going to select the 999 option and we're going to type in best printers. This is going to give us a discount and this is a one time waste ink counter reset code that you're purchasing. So this is the price you're going to proceed to checkout. And once you get to the checkout page, you're going to then receive this code. Uh, with this code, you're going to go back to the software. You're going to click reset waste ink counter and you're going to insert your key that you purchased. Uh, once you have done that, it is going to prompt you to reset your printer. You're going to do that. You're going to power it off and then you're going to power it back on. And then you will have totally reset the waste ink counter within the printer. And that will just register to your printer that you have replaced the maintenance box. Now make sure if your red lights are blinking or you have some other things coming up on your screen, you have to replace your maintenance box. Check your specific printer model. If you browse my channel, you'll be able to find some videos of me showing you how to replace the maintenance box on various different Epson EcoTank printers. Now, what if you replace your maintenance box a while ago? Well, then you just have to kind of keep track of the time, make sure that you replace your maintenance box again, maybe in another three to six months, and then you can do this at the same time that you actually replace your maintenance box. So here you see 000 on everything. That's what you want to see. It's totally reset, and now we are ready to move forward with printing. Now just remember inkchip.net is where you're going to go to actually download the software and get the code for you to reset your waste counter on your Epson EcoTank printer. If this video was helpful, please make sure to like. Any questions at all, comment below. If you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching until the end of this video. I handpicked two videos that are here on the screen for you to watch next. Also consider subscribing to this channel. There's so much helpful content for you if you're a printer owner, and it's just good to have a resource like this for you in the future, whether you're dealing with a printer that's not printing well or you need more printer recommendations. So I look forward to seeing you again in another video.